Hi guys, it's Kristen with CKC Patterns and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade wand. Now we have our official Harry Potter wands here that my kids have and um, they're each a little different but today I'm going to show you how you can make your own at home with some pretty basic supplies. I'm going to make this mini one for our doll here. Um, you can see it'll be the perfect fit for him. Um, and this is actually just the little uh, pusher stick that comes in a big bag of cotton batting. Um, the kind I get always comes with these little sticks. So I use it as my creaser tool too, but today I'm going to turn it into a wand form. You can do this on for full size wands using a dowel too for kids. So if you look at these different wands here that we have, these are the ones that my kids picked out. Um, so if you look at the bottom where the handle is, some of them have like the different designs. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do it. Some even have the designs going all the way up. Um, it's just kind of textured stuff. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take the stick and on the thicker end, not the pointy end, but the thicker end, I'm going to use my little mini hot glue gun and I'm going to add that texture that you can see on those. So you can decide what kind of pattern you want it to be. You can do kind of the crisscross or make it blobs on there and then when we're done with that we'll paint it and just paint it all one color and then you can go back and add more color later but I'll just show you real quick um, this is all heated and ready to go so I am gonna just start about I guess he has little hands my doll so I won't make his handle quite so big as I would for a kid and I'm just gonna start here and I'm just gonna spin it around while I do that so I think I didn't really plan this ahead but I think I'm going to put kind of a little blob around at the top and the bottom. And I'm trying not to turn it too fast because the, the glue needs to kind of harden before I spin. Otherwise it'll make one big, big blob at the bottom. And then to connect those, I think I'm going to make kind of a little swirly design from one side to the other. And again, I'm trying to go kind of slow to make sure those blobs don't fall off. I know one of the ones I was looking at when our family went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. One of the ones I liked a lot had kind of a grapevine leaf wrapped around it. It was pretty cool looking. So I guess that's kind of the idea I'm going with here. There, so I kind of like that. And then one of the wands I showed you had some little blobs going up it, so maybe I'll add a little more just for fun. You can just kind of do it however you want. Now I love painting with craft paint. If you're not much of a you could um, use some of the glitter glues, that kind of thing. But what I'm going to do is just paint this all brown when I'm done. All right. And my daughter, Nicole, is running the camera for me. How am I doing, Nicole? Do you think that's pretty cute? Yeah. Should we stop there? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I like that. I can't ask my doll his opinion. <laughs> Logan doesn't care. What do you think, Logan? Now, he's wearing his Malcolm's robe right now in our So Along group, in the CKC So Alongs group. We are doing our robe So Along. And... So I thought this would be a fun project to add for those who are doing it. Okay, now you just wanna let the glue cool, of course. Now normally when you make crafts, it dries really, really fast, or cools off, I guess, but since those are pretty big, big blobs, it may take a while. So I'll let that sit there. Maybe while we do that, Nicole can show you some of these wands again. See, so some are really textured. You could even like, carve into one if you wanted. If you are doing it a kid size one, you could get a dowel and kind of cut chunks into it more. This is a fairly basic one that one of my kids chose. And oh, here's, this is the one with kind of grapevine. Is that yours, Nicole? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty one. And then this one even has kind of holes on it. Anyway, they, they each have an explanation behind them. That's but the elder's wand. This is the elder wand. Um, and they can be pretty pricey, so even better if we can make our own at home, right? All right, Nicole, look over here, the cameraman. 
Okay, and what I like about, I'm, we're still letting this cool off a little bit. I don't want to paint it too soon. What I love about Malcolm's robe is that I did do the, the loop and buttons the same way they had on the official one. So it loops on, I'm trying to hold and do this at the same time. It does loop on there on one side and then it has buttons on the other. Um, and then I like his hood here. It has the slouchy hood with, the, you can either do the pointed hood in back or the, just a regular one. Um, He's going to tip over any second now. And I also love the sleeves. It has um, the drapey sleeves. All right, checkered blue. It's still kind of tacky. Wow, now my thumb's stuck to it. Okay. All right, now I think while that end dries, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Actually, I'm going to unplug my glue. All right. Now this part is pretty self-explanatory too, of course, but I just wanted to show you how cool it ends up. So this is just <laughs> acrylic craft paint, craft paint, and you can just kind of start wherever and go around. I was kind of laughing when I was planning this out because I took toll painting classes when I was young. And my teacher was always really picky about um, you paint the sides before you paint the front or the back. And I was kind of looking at this, trying to decide if like the ends were the sides or if the whole thing is the side. I don't know. So if my teacher's watching, I'm doing it the way I like best. See, I just love how it looks once you paint over those little glue blobs. It just kind of blends in. Hopefully you can see that good on the camera. And those are nice and dry. Now, if if you're doing this at home, you may even just go do something else for a good 20 minutes while they dry. But I know you on the camera don't want to just sit there and watch it dry. So I think this would be fun even for like a kid's birthday party or I don't know, Halloween party, that kind of thing to just get a bunch of those dowels from a craft store in whatever size you want and um, you can sand them down or just add glue, paint, whatever you want. And they turn out cute. Now some of those have other colors on them, like oranges and blacks, that you could come back and do an extra layer later. Okay, it looks like I kind of painted myself into a corner. It is cooled off now though, so that's good. The big glue blob I made at the end is ready to go. All right, and that end's not dry yet. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I know this paint washes off hands really easy, so I'll just do that. I like how it's looking. Now I'm not going to put this wand into Logan's hand with it all painty, of course. I don't want to take the chance of painting him or his awesome robe. So once it has fully dried, we'll put it in his hand and um, get some fun pictures. So, But I think that's pretty neat, right? It, it looks a lot like these authentic ones. Not too bad. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Um, there's lots of ways that you can make it your own. And I think I'm actually stuck to this one <laughs> right now. There's lots of ways you can personalize this and uh, involve the kids and have fun. Of course, be careful with the hot glue, but um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks, guys. Hi, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.